As Wallace quickly works, and this one's hit to third, and Hovey's not going to field it cleanly. It's going to get off his glove and into left field. It's actually in foul territory. Gets all the way out to the bullpen. And so as a result, on the first batter of the game, it's yet another error for the Sweets. And that'll... 3-2 is hit to right field, and... Cesar Lopez has a read on it. He makes a grab, but the runner from third will tag and head for home. And with the error to start off the game, runner reaching third base. He comes around to score, and it's 1-0 in favor of the Harbor Cats. A quick back at Teal, back at Jack, and delivers. This one's hit to the right side, and that's going to get down into right center field. Base hit. Jack Philby rounds third, he's heading home, he's gonna score easily. As Robbie Teal delivers a, an important base hit, gets the RBI as Jack Philby comes across the score and it's even at one to one. As Schartz looks in, here's the 1-0. This one's low and it's gonna be Prezino who gets caught in a pickle but that allows Hovey to come across the score. As Prezino stopped, when the throw came down wisely, and that gave Jordan Hovey the chance to come home and score. He did so, and it's now two to one. Sweet lead. A hot bat, and no better time than right now for another good hit. As he drops down a bunt, Sinatra's running home. Sinatra's gonna be safe, and Lopez is gonna be safe. The throw gets over the first baseman's head. Zach Penrod's rounding third. He's heading home. He's gonna reach there standing up. So two runs will score on the play as Lopez dropped down a bunt. And like it has plagued the Sweets at times, an error gets over the head of the first baseman on the throw. Two runs come across and it's now four to one. Sharts looks at third, 1-0. This one's hit back up the middle and that's gonna be another base hit for Robbie Teal and another RBI. That's almost the exact same pitch, almost the exact same kind of hit. This one just a little bit more towards center field. But he drops that one in, finds some green grass. Lopez comes home, and it's now five to one. And that'll bring up Jordan Hovey, the runner from second. Oh, he hits this one well to left. Left fielder's on his horse, and he drops the ball. Right on the left field line, Hovey's going to be held up at third, but Robbie Teal scores easily as he was moving on the hit with two outs in the inning. The left fielder Fox was battling the sun. It glances off his glove and drops down. And so with that, Josh Prezina stands on second base. Another run home in the inning. That's the fourth run of the inning. The lead is now 6-1. to one. Full at three and two now, pitch on its way. This one's hit back up the middle and that's a base hit. Hovey scores easily. Prezina rounds third and he's gonna score easily as the ball got away from the center fielder. And so it's another two more runs. It's a two RBI single for Tyler Pritchard. And with that, it's now eight to one. With Johnston's back in, 1-0. Wrapped to third, and it bounces off the glove of the third baseman, Bickford, and gets into left field. And so Ryan Johnson will reach base safely. As Brown digs back in. Hirai back out for another inning of work. This one's hit well to left field. Johnson going back. He's at the track. He leaps, but he's not going to get to it as it sails over the wall. It's a home run for Cade Brown as he put a charge into that one. Gets out of over the left field wall. Johnston leaped at the wall, but he collided with the wall. He was just perhaps a little bit too close to the wall to try to make that grab. Cunha comes set. One and one is hit to left field. Elser doesn't make the grab. He laid out to try to catch it. 
And so two runs are going to score as it gets past Matt Elser all the way out to the left field wall. Haney stands at second with a double. And so now the lead trimmed down. It's 9-4. to four. As he comes set, looks back at second and delivers. This one's fisted back up the middle off the glove of Woolery. Barehanded by Lesmeister, but he throws it away. That's going to allow the runner to reach second base. Cade Brown comes around to score. And so it's now 7-9. to nine. Off the outside part of the plate. And the fans in attendance just want to go home happy. Just trying to get this final out as it's been like climbing up a mountain to try to get these last few. 2-2 two -two from Woolery. Swing and a miss. He strikes him out and ends the game. Shuts the door on the Victoria Rally and gets the win for the Sweets. Final score, 9-7 to seven in favor of Walla Walla. And with that, They've now won five straight series against West Coast League opponents.